Have you ever received this code in your phone number? Oh, I'm sure you did. But are these numbers you get actually random? Well, no. But hold on a second, cowboy. Don't exit the video just yet. I'm about to drop some knowledge on how true this statement in reality is. Let me tell you something. There is nothing random about computers, period. But how are these platforms then able to generate these random ass codes? Well, when a computer generates random numbers, most of the time, they're not pulling them from some kind of magic source. They're generated using something called pseud pseudo random number generators or PRNGs. This means that even though the numbers seem random, they're actually produced by an algorithm based on the initial value called seed. Now, I know you guys will make jokes about this seed thing, so just let's just be serious for a moment here, guys. Let's, let's just be serious, please. The seed is just a starting point. Oh my god, it gets even worse. The seed is just a starting point, like the first piece of the puzzle. Oh my god, who wrote this script? Like the first piece of the puzzle that determines the entire sequence of numbers. Let's Let's imagine you have a seed value. Let's say it's 69420. Good God. From that seed, the algorithm generates a sequence of numbers that look completely random. But if you start with the same seed, you'll always get these same numbers every time. So it's not true randomness, but it's good enough for most things like generating codes for security. Or is it? Let's hypothetically say if you crash a server, so you like make it restart completely. For example, you supply an unexpected value and the server just crashes. This means that now the random numbers will start generating over again. So then now, once you get to see what the first random number after the crash was, you can predict it always just by crashing the server, making a restart, and then requesting a security code for a forgotten password, for example. But this is just a theory, though. It's just a theory. <laughs> and just like that, hackers are able to hack into someone's account. But importance of random numbers is very, very real. For example, Cloudflare uses crazy things to give actual randomness to their assets so that they don't have to deal with predictability issues. Thanks for watching yet another another video of mine. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe. Our current goal is to reach 1k subs, so please just go ahead and do that so I can earn some bread from YouTube. Also, make sure to share this with your friends, and I'll see you in two days, I think, with a brand new video. Mwah. Oh, wait, actually, I shouldn't say that. You guys let me know in the comments what what else should I say because this is apparently claimed by no text-to-speech. I know somebody just wrote me that in the comments, so please just let me know in the comments what I should use instead of this one. Yeah, goodbye.